Hey guys, it's me, Troy DeGroat, the guy behind the blog and the videos here at U Chapter 2. Yeah, I want to jump on this side of the camera this time for a change and just say thank you. Uh, I've been at this for five years now. Um, started out just being fun and actually 165,000 views later, 1,100 subscribers, it turned into a business. And I want to thank you guys. Uh, it's truly you guys and your support that has brought me this far. And to say thank you, today I've got some free tools that you're going to be able to download. So let's jump into a video. I'll show you the different tools that we have and how you can utilize those. So hang tight. Here we go. All right, here we go. I'm going to try to keep this as brief as I can. We got a lot of stuff to cover here. Hopefully you guys learn some things and also dive in and download these free Bluebeam tool sets. So I'm going to jump in right away and show you how some of these work. I'm going to jump between a couple different documents. I've got some flags set up so that I can show you these different tools. We're just going to start out real quick, appliance elevations. So I'm just going to click on that one. Here you can see I've got the scale set. I'm going to go up to my first tool set here. Go ahead and just drop in the refrigerator. You can see that that's pretty good proportion to the door uh, for a smaller refrigerator. And then we can click on some of these different cabinet layouts. You can see those are in proportion as well. And then with all of these, I put a white background. So when you overlay, if it happens to be overlaying any geometry on the drawing, it's going to hide that. So I added a white background to that. So uh, you can clean up the drawings as well as overlay those um, in and show what they're going to look like. Okay. Get rid of that one. Um, Plumbing fixtures, we'll swing down to that one here. Again, setting these up proportionate to the scale of the drawing. Some of these were out of scale when I downloaded them. So we got those a little closer. And then of course, applied the scale to this tool set so that whatever you have calibrated, it's gonna give an accurate um, scale to those when you place those. Okay, so I'm just gonna delete these flags as I go doors okay so i created some doors or fixed some tools that were out there for doors uh, here we go and created some new ones in there as well so again with this one i created a white background so when you place this it's actually going to hide the wall where you're placing that door so you can see that cleans it up nice you don't have that running through uh, same thing with these bifold doors that uh, cleans up the wall behind it and you can always stretch that to make it fit as well and the same with the pocket door over here i added one of those as well so you can put that in here it's going to white out the wall behind it steel shapes over here so i set the scale for this detail using a viewport so if i come over here you can see i added a view viewport with the plus button here set the scale to just that region of the drawing and now I can come over to my steel tools. Uh, these were not to scale either. Well, I updated those to be more to scale so that this being uh, 12 by 26, I believe. And then we've got some different angles and tubes and brake lines in here as well. So you can place those. Um, and those also have a white background, so it's going to hide any of that block behind there and make those a little cleaner. So let's go ahead and add one of these angles as well. And then I'll show you the weld symbols as well. So the weld symbols I felt were a little lacking. So I went in and I created uh, this line here with an arrowhead in it. So I can come in, snap there, draw my leader in there, double click, put that arrow on there. So then I can go ahead and place the billet symbols and the field weld and all of those onto uh, that arrow as needed. Let's look at the window tools right here. So some of these were already in what I downloaded. Um, again, a lot of these tools you're gonna get from various places, free downloads that are available out there. I just put some work into them, um, made them a little bit more user-friendly, uh, updated the scale of them and things like that. So 
this 24 by 24 window is actually to scale when I place those. And I provided a couple different uh, sizes for each of those different types of windows. So I've got the four panel, I've got it with shutters and so on. You can see all the different windows in here. Let's go over to uh, pipe takeoff. So these were <clears throat> some good tools that I found. I just put a little bit more into them, um, the pipe takeoff tools here. So they have different pipe sizes. So this is a 20 diameter, 20 millimeter. Um, for these, I would change this to detail view. So you can actually see the sizes in here before you um, go and place those symbols. So you can have a, a 20 millimeter pipe, go and draw in whatever that might look like. And then we also have the risers that we can drop in. So when we place those, uh, we can go in and put in a bend or a T with a check mark. You can see here they're all color coded um, for the size and different shapes indicating different things. So what we can do then is I provided a takeoff legend. So I can place that here next to my markups and you can see all of the um, materials that we need to do that takeoff here. Plant handling. So let's go down and those are here. Again, we have different um, symbols here for uh, safe tray, exhaust hood, some different measurements there. And then what the what we really put into these is the sequence tools. So when we come in and place these, they're going to count up as I place those. So a bunch of different tools here. They all have different colors, different symbols, and they're set up to be a sequence. So they'll count up on that. And then grills, very similar. Uh, when I come down here, uh, we've got a bar grill in here and then a Again, a bunch of different symbols in here that will count up. Um, different colors. All sorts of different tools in here. So you guys know better what those are. I just, um, I know kind of the workflow that goes with a lot of these tools. So I built it in. And then um, also for a lot of these, actually for all the tool sets that we built, oops. I put them on layers as well. So when you place these markups, you're going to see that uh, all our pipe takeoff tools are together. And I can turn those on and off to clean things up and so on. All of those are going to be on layers. So adding functionality to these tools as well. Uh, let's go over to our site construction or our construction site signage. Back to my tool sets here. And down at the bottom, we've got um, different signage here so we can go ahead and place our stop signs in there uh, wherever our detours are 15 miles an hour and some women's room all kinds of useful signage in here so we place those and then the other one is our site management tools up here these are ones that i built that um for a presentation I was doing and I thought I would throw them in here, but I think um, on our job site, we can very easily have an exclusion zone. So nothing's gonna happen in there. as a nice border around it, highlighted yellow. Um, we can outline this site. If this is our site boundary, we can put that in. It's gonna give us um, that nice yellow line and then we can start to roll out the electric line. So this is where our electric line is gonna run in. We just select the start point, double click the end point. You can see it's marked electric. We also have an overhead power line, gas line, um, comms, water, sewer, high voltage, low voltage, pedestrian walkway. We can add that in here as well. Move from the job trailer over to the site puts in a nice path, a vehicle path line, same thing, uh, maybe 
a driveway right at the beginning of the site work, um, kind of laying that out, temporary fence, gate, and temporary power line. So you can see we can very quickly go out and lay out our site, what's where, so that everybody's aware of where those underground wires are and the overhead wires. And again, all of those are on layers as well. Another drawing, so a couple other tools, electric telecom. So I'm going to cruise back up here to these tools. There we go. So I placed a few of these tools in the rooms here. Um, some outlets, some lights and things like that. And for a lot of these tools that are symbol oriented like this, I actually added a legend as well. So I placed that in here. It's going to show you the symbol, the description of that, and the quantity. And if we use spaces, we'll also report what space it's in. So there's that one. And again, all of those are on uh, layers as well. If you go up to home furniture, uh, let's see where that one is. Here we go. I added a couple different bed sizes, twins. Um, we put in a California King. I'm gonna drop in a King size here. Just drop it in this office. And then for fun, so you can kind of personalize your architectural layouts for your customers, I added a woman, a man, there's a baby, and then we even put a dog in here. So we drop that in, rotate him. We all know he's going to take up the whole thing, but we can rotate him a little bit so he fits in there as well. So some fun ones in there I added as well. That next one, electrical. So here, let's go down to our electrical tools. Um, so these were designed, if you've got electrical schematic drawings, things like that, um, there's white again behind these tools. So when you go and place these over top of that wire diagram, it's going to break that and put in those symbols. So you can see that you can put those different symbols in here. And it's going to clean up the wire line behind it. So hopefully those are useful for you guys. Uh, HVAC valves, same thing with those. Um, there we go. Different valves, you can place those again within that line and it hides the line behind it. So you see when I place these, I put a white background so it hides that line and shows that it's uh, broken there for that valve. Uh, punch symbols. So there's all kinds of punch tools in here, all different variations. Um, I worked with these a little to put a yellow background to them so they stand out a little bit more. Uh, and then again, in each one of these, I added a legend so that we can drop that on here. A punch for carpentry, it's going to tell you, it's going to show you the symbol, what it means, how many, and then if you're using spaces like we are here, it'll tell you what room that's in. Uh, and then a lot of these, you'll notice that orange may represent mechanical, blue is plumbing, red a lot of times is fire protection, um, things like that. that. And we're going to go to the land use. These are another set of tools that I built um, for a presentation I did a while back on the quantity link. Just placing area measurements maybe over a site, uh, a site plan or a Google Earth image. And then it's going to give you the quantities. Again, I provided a legend for that one as well. Um, so that is these tools that I provided in the download. I'm going to delete those. Um, let me quickly show you some changes that you can make to these tools. So let's say you don't want plumbing to be blue. I would come in here and place a bunch of these whichever ones you want to change. And then you can very quickly, with your right mouse button, drag a window over top of those tools so they're all selected. Right click on it, go to change colors, and all at the same time, you can change the source file as blue. Maybe you want these to be a different, maybe you want them to be pink. We can update that and say okay. And all of those tools are updated very quickly. And then you can just right click, Add those to the tool chest. Sorry, let me get this up on the 
Let's go into my other screen. Right click on it, add to tool chest. It's still over there. <laughs> it's a long list. And just tell it to go into that um, into that tool set. So you can start to change these colors if you don't like what I've got and replace these tools over here. When you're done replacing those tools, make sure you come in here and save your tool set. And then always, anytime you're saving these, go up to review profiles and save your profile and it'll save those to the profile as well. All right, so let's dive in and show you how to download these. I'm going to jump into my website here at uchapter2.com. Once you're here, um, if you guys, if this is your first time on the site, I just want to point out a few things. We have user groups and forums. So if you click over here, um, you can very easily just join with your email address uh, and a username. Come down here, you're going to notice that there's different groups in here with different topics. So you can jump in and ask your questions. Uh, I'm in here all the time. So if you want to get a hold of me with questions, this is where to do it. Also, I've got all my courses listed for Bluebeam training. You can take a look at those. Uh, a bunch of different classes. These are all two hour workflow based classes. So we can go through baseline basics, estimating basics, estimating advanced, civil workflows, and so on. Um, but what I want to show you today is under resources. If I click on here, you'll also notice there's a user assessment. So you can see where your company's at and, and where they could be. Uh, where they could benefit from some custom tools or things like that. A bunch of training videos, uh, my blog, and then all of my events that are coming up, training sessions, things like that. I'm going to encourage you to sign up for the newsletter. And I'm going to click directly on resources here. It's going to bring me to the resource page. And here you can see different things I have available. I'm going to click on the free downloads. If you haven't already, you'll see that I have free hatch patterns, 82 of the most popular um, AutoCAD and other hatch patterns. You can load it directly into Bluebeam. So um, give that a, a whirl if you haven't done that already. But here we're just gonna click on tool sets. You'll see I've got 57 Bluebeam tool sets, 1,615 tools. That's gonna load to um, our tool set download page. Here we're just gonna you can read through here, click on those uh, division layouts, put your name in here, your email address. Add those, and I'm going to click download your tool sets. That's going to send you an email. Uh, it doesn't have the link to the download yet, but it's going to send us to this thank you page. And now you have an option to uh, download the install instructions or download the tool set. Uh, the install instructions are going to be in the zip file that's provided when you do the download. So I'm just going to click here. You'll notice that it downloads. It takes a couple seconds. And then all you're going to do is put that zip file into a folder where you want all those tools to live. Extract all of those. And then going into Bluebeam again uh, with all your documents closed. You're going to go to the folder where you have all of these tool sets. You're going to select the ones you want or all of them using your shift or control key and just drag and drop those into the interface of Bluebeam over here. Those are going to automatically load each one and you're going to have a window that pops up uh, indicating that it was a success. So you just click OK on each one of those windows for each tool set and you're done. You got all your tools. Um, after those are downloaded, again, come up to your profile under review, profiles, save your profile. So all those tools are there next time you open Bluebeam. So again, I want to thank you guys for subscribing and following my YouTube channel, my blog, all that stuff over the years. I hope you guys enjoy these um, downloads and take advantage of those. And I'd love to see you in the forums with any questions you might have or requests for different videos, blog posts you're looking at. Um, join the community there and let's uh, learn from each other. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you on the next one.